China has been suspected for a while now of planning to build and even building a military base here. In late 2021, satellite images, drones and American spies in the UAE had already shown that the Khalifa port, uh, which is about halfway between Dubai and Abu Dhabi, um, showed signs of suspicious activities. Suspicious not because these activities were illegal, but because they were undeclared and hidden under tarps and sheds in a container terminal operated by a Chinese company. Neither the UAE nor China had publicly admitted that a Chinese military base was under construction. Um, very quickly, Joe Biden had picked up the phone uh, to call his counterpart, Mohammed bin Zayed, telling him that it was unthinkable, uh, given the close ties between the UAE and the United States, that China would show up. Uh, and the Emirates claimed at that time that they were not aware that Beijing was uh, building a base on their soil, a base that would have become the second Chinese military outpost uh, in the region, along with Djibouti. Um, the Americans put pressure on the Chinese to stop the construction of this new base. But today the work has resumed, obviously, with the approval of the UAE. Um, for Beijing, the interests may be legitimate. It is all about establishing by 2030 a network of rather defensive military bases to secure the Gulf and its resources. Um, we know that on the opposite shore, Iran is pursuing its uranium enrichment program in Iraq, uh, where Daesh militants still swarm with connections to terrorist groups in Afghanistan, a country that shares a direct border with China. But the Americans are not happy. Uh, the Emirates were already refusing to respond to Washington's demands to increase their oil production. And now they are responding to Beijing's demands uh, to give in to multipolarity, which means that no, one day the Gulf will no longer be the preserve of uh, the Americans. And it goes even beyond the military aspect. The UAE and Saudi Arabia in particular are ending their exclusive relationship with Washington because Beijing is the world's largest importer of oil and has become Riyadh's largest trading partner in recent years. Dubai, Bastien Bori, I-24 News.